And we will make America great again. God bless you and good night. I love you. Hello and welcome to Bar Bar Strategy. I'm Colonel Jim Ed Love, and today's program is going to be about woodshop. But before I get to the woodshop part, let me briefly tell you that it's I finished all of my shows on my woodshop and how to construct it, and the ceiling and the paint and all that. It was 13, was that 13 episodes? I think it was 13 episodes. And then I, the last one I did was a little promo video on what's yet to come about. It's kind of a Halloween thing. It was on the book that I'm reading and I'm going to do a review on it. And I happen to have that publication right here. I thought that I would be done with it by now, but as you can see, it's a fairly thick book and it's taken longer than I thought. Also, I, I think that the book requires a lot of attention when it comes to the detail and the storyline. And I also want to and intend to review the movies. There was the one done in 1990, another one done in 2017, another one done in 2019 or 20, the chapter two part. And I just want to let you know that that is still coming. I know it's supposed to be a Halloween show, but it, it's not going to be a Halloween show. Or maybe it'll be a Halloween show for 2022. Well, however you want to count it. I mean, you can still watch my Dracula shows I did two years ago, and I guess that comes around every Halloween. Anyway, that's yet to come. I, I have the script for it right here on it. You can see right here. It's all my talking points, and, of course, I've got to make more notes on this whenever I finish the, the book. And... The, another one, now I know I've also talked about doing politics, and I, I, I keep saying I'm dying to do politics, and I am. In fact, I've written a two-page talking notes script on the New World Order, as I call it, and that is yet to come but very soon. But before we, before I, I, so I've got those two, and I've got this one here for you, and this one's going to be on wood shop and woodworking stuff. So all this time we've been talking about building a wood shop and putting it together, and now we're going to talk about an actual wood project. And this is something that I do every single year. Every year we do in our family a Christmas, it's an after Christmas party. It's more like a New Year's Eve party. And we, but we do it the day before New Year's Eve. And we've been doing this, this will be our 27th year, I believe. So we've been doing it since 1995. The idea behind this is, is a Chinese Christmas, basically. But what we did is we expanded the Chinese Christmas, the usual, you know, you bring some goofy gift or a tie or some old socks or something, and then somebody walks away with a white elephant. And get, That's not ours. What we do in ours is a very serious, serious game. It, you have to spend at least $160 on a gift. You don't have to actually spend that, but you have your gift. Your gift has to be worth that in the marketplace overall. And we leave it to the individuals to judge. Although we will scorn you if you bring soap on a rope and a box of Scrabble, which somebody did back in 2006. A nephew of mine, Paul. Anyway, so what what will you do in this game? Is we've taken the simple game of Chinese Christmas, which is, I think, about 10 rules to it overall, including setup, and we've expanded it into this long, long bureaucratic 36-page, we call this game the PC3. It's the Paris Chinese Communist Christmas, and there's a history behind that, and, and I'll explain that history maybe in another show. But we also call it the Gatwe, the Game of the White Elephant. So it's, the, it's officially the Game of the White Elephant, 
And our rules specifically are the PC3. That is the Paris Chinese Communist Christmas. And it's actually to make fun of all the damn communists out there. But, you know, as serious as communism is becoming in the United States via the Democratic Party, the more, less comical that becomes. Anyway, today's show is about the trophies that I make for that party. You see, there's seven trophies that we give out, and those are in order their in order their appearance, best female gift, and then you got the most unique gift, and then you have best presentation gift, and then you have the most masculine gift, and then you have the most artistic gift, the most comedic gift, and lastly, the most utilitarian gift. Now, all of those are gonna be separate shows. I'm gonna show you how I make these trophies. In fact, right here, I have an example. This one is the most unique gift. This was named after my Uncle Cecil. Cecil Cole Black was his name. He was born around 1910 and died in 1979. And he was a great guy. Absolutely great guy. Wonderful guy. Anyway, all of the brother-in-laws that married into my mother's family are named after these trophies. And so Uncle Cecil, who married into the family in 1936, he married my Aunt Mary. Wonderful woman. Uh, she died in 2008. But I won this one in the 19th year of our games, which would have been about 2000, about 2014. And so this, this is made of Purple Heart. Now, all of the trophies, the reason I'm showing you this one is because this show is on the Grand Trophy. And the Grand Trophy, a lot of work goes into the Grand Trophy, and I'm going to show you how I make it. Now, here's the deal about this show. It's going to be several parts because I've already filmed a lot of it, and it's... I already have an hour's worth of footage on it, and I'm not going to give you an hour. It's going to be 15 minutes or less for each show, but I'm going to take you through, and I, I haven't completely finished this year's trophy, so I can't tell you how long the footage is, so I can't tell you how many shows there are right now. I know there'll probably be at least three or four, but there'll be you know under 15-minute shows. I'm going to show you how I make the grand trophy. Now, right here is a picture of last year's grand trophy, and... Here is a picture of the year before. And the year before that. And I redesigned them about two or three years ago. They used to be about this size, but I, I made them much larger because it's a grand trophy. So it has to be really special. It's made out of many, many exotic woods. And I'll go through the woods with you when we go into the wood shop and I'll show you how that all works. The grand trophy is glued together with multiple layers of exotic woods, and then it's turned. So it's a little man, and he's sitting on top, well, I'm gonna show you the wood shop, but he's a little man, as you can see in the picture, little man standing on a column who's standing on a base. And then I usually put a hat on him and a feather in his hat or something. You know, so make it a little bit different every year. Sometimes the woods change, but overall, it's an exotic wood piece. It's one of a kind and only one individual wins it. Now, the deal in the game also, by the way, I'll just mention is the fact that you can win any one of the seven trophies and you can qualify to win the grand trophy, which is what we call the order of the white elephant. But you can only win, at the most, those two. You, you can't win multiple trophies. My nephew Matt did that one year, and so we changed the rules so that you couldn't just go in and sweep the entire awards. It's not like a movie where you go in and uh, some great you know, movie wins all the Academy Awards. That's boring. Nobody wants that. So anyway, all gifts are not the same either. And there's usually not one gift that could sweep all of those subjects. So we limit it to just one. But the grand trophy is the grand prize. And there's special benefits that come with it if you play in the next game the year following. So it encourages people to come back and play. Anyway, right now we're going to go out in the wood shop and I'm going to show you the very beginnings. Now, let me tell you ahead of time, this is going to be a very slow, meticulous build. And I'm going to show you, at first you're going to see me putting the glue on and I'm going to be talking to you. And then later on, after I repeat the same stuff over and over, we're going to go to fast forward and we're going to use some time-lapse photography and go through it real quick so you don't have to sit through every glue up. And then eventually we'll turn it and you'll see that. So anyway, here is the Grand Trophy and here's how I made it. All right, today in the wood shop, we're gonna start on my 
Christmas trophies. Uh, this is for the Gottweed. Anyway, we do these trophies and I'm working on the grand trophy now. And you have to start this thing early. So today is October, what is it? 11th, 12th, something like that. And you have to start these early and that's what I'm doing now. So what I've done, oh, my hair's all messed up. Um, so what I've done is I've got, there's six composites of exotic woods here. There's six little planks and we're gonna glue them all together. Let me show them to you. All right, so what you have here are the six different types of uh, wood, exotic woods, and they're all little planks. They're all a little about six and a half inches long. And they're about, oh, what is that? Quarter, less, a little bit less than a quarter inch thick. And so here we have mora, and this is South American walnut, a Spanish cedar, and oak, and this is Brazilian cherry or jatoba, whichever name you want to call it, but it's the same thing. It comes from South America and Brazil. And this is lace wood from Australia. And the, the uh, Spanish cedar is true Spanish cedar. It's the more, it's a South American Spanish cedar. It's a more expensive quality. And the South American walnut is, is from South America, it's, which is different from our walnut. Our walnut here in America is that American black walnut, which is actually a much lighter shade than the South American walnut. And Mora is from Africa, Africa, yeah. So uh, you have all these together, and what we're gonna do is we're going to glue each one of these together into a sandwich. So that's what we're gonna do next. And right here is my book that I do every year. I, I print up exactly. So my last entry was over here on September 16th of 2020. Here is, it's kind of a recipe book. I, I draw a picture. This is what we're gonna build here. And the part, this part here, right here that we're gonna glue together, we're gonna eventually glue it together and we're gonna turn it and we're gonna make this little man. So just this, this just these right here will make up right here, this six inch part, this little man standing here, kind of like an Academy Award Oscar thing. And I'll turn that, and then this right here is a pillar that'll be made of Padute. And I believe that this right here is be made of walnut. And then he's you're gonna have maybe, I, last year I did a top hat, and I, I thought that was really cool. I may do it this year, this is made of winch. So it's a very dark wood, darkest uh, right under ebony. Um, Gabion Ebony. Winge is, is a very hard, dark wood. It's very splintery until you sand it and then it's, it's great, smooth. Anyway, this is the design for the trophy and then the, all the other trophies will look just like this little man does right here. Okay, here where, is where you see the six different types of wood I use for the grand trophy for our Chinese Christmas. And this is Mora, this is South American Walnut, this is Spanish Cedar, Oak, and Brazilian Cherry, and Lacewood from Australia. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna glue them together into this massive sandwich. And then at that point, once they solidify and dry, then we're gonna turn them. But they each have to be glued together separately. You can't just glue them all together in one big thing because then it, they start slipping and sliding and it's, it's not a good idea. Well, that's all for tonight about the Order of the White Elephant. I hope you join me for the next episode. There's going to be multiple episodes of this because as you can see, I'm showing you how to put this thing together very meticulously, very slowly, so that you get the idea of how to do it. I'm also throwing in tips, if you notice, about general woodworking and general practices on woodworking. So join me next time. My name is Colonel Jim Love. This is Barbara Strategy. We'll see you next time for the next episode on the White Elephant Trophy. Good night.